just for the uh, sake of argument, just for the sake of argument, I want to join you and ask all of us to laugh at Angel Snub Nub 7. Come on now, laugh. <laughs> Let's laugh at Angel Snub Nub 7. We like to laugh and we like to make mockery of people, Negroes. <laughs> we like to do that. We want to feel as though we're better and smarter. So let I want to laugh at myself. <laughs> Woo! Let's 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 have a good laugh. <clears throat> why are we laughing? I'm gonna tell you why we laughing. We laughing because in 2018, early 2018, it was revealed to me. By the spirit of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I'm joking now. Being sarcastic. It was revealed to me. A vision. Called. Operation. Exodus Mississippi campaign. That's what we promote here. On this platform. That was 2018. Now. What they're laughing about is, and what some are very happy about, they are happy that nobody are, let me get my thoughts together here, that, 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 that folks aren't serious. That's a good idea, but they're not serious to make it a reality. They're happy about that. <laughs> Woo, yeah. You've been talking Operation Exodus Mississippi since 2018. You ain't been able to do nothing, which is not true. The concept, as long as I am alive, I have done what I'm supposed to do is to tell others about it. Now, should they choose to want to make that a reality, which is a benefit to them as an individual, which is a benefit to us as soul brothers and sisters, the African American, the freedmen, whatever you want to call yourself, then that's on you. I've done my job and continue to do my job. You can lead a horse to water. You cannot make him drink. I cannot make nobody do nothing. That's on you. And I don't want to make you do anything. That's on you. The reality is this black man and woman in America is institutionalized. So I'm not shocked. I'm a little disappointed because they put on this show like they are free men and women. But the reality is they are institutionalized slaves. They holler black power. They holler hotel and I say they love these slogans. But the reality is they are we are. I include myself. I include myself. We are institutionalized Slaves. And another word for institutionalized, you could use domesticated. We're domesticated. We're institutionalized. I want to remind you, high and mighty folks, why you laugh at Angel Snup Nup 7 and you don't have nothing. You are accomplishing nothing. You've done nothing except put on a show. That's all you've been able to do. You have no more than I do. You got nothing going on than I do. And you have more help. You have more money. You have more resources. You got all this and don't have nothing. So I'm not embarrassed. I'm not shamed. The one who should be shamed and embarrassed are those who have thousands of subscribers who are getting 
thousands and millions of dollars and you don't have nothing. And then you get angry because somebody like me has the nerve to come in the public and tell you that you have nothing because the other nothing ass people, the institutionalized people, the domesticated people are just like you pretending that you want something different. But the reality is you really don't. You are comfortable being an institutionalized slave. May I remind you, if it was not for the Civil War and this internal conflict between two Caucasian brothers, you would still be picking cotton somewhere in this nation. Our ancestors did not fight for their freedom. They were happy and content just like you are being an institutionalized modern day voluntary slave. They did not fight for nothing. This Caucasian man made laws to protect your happy ass. You did not fight for nothing. John Brown, the abolitionist, and some of these silly Pan-African comedic type folks try to put down John Brown. John Brown, well, we don't know what John Brown's intention. It don't make no difference what you think about him or what his intention was. I'm going by what he done. John Brown, the abolitionist, went out, got guns, got weapons for these slaves to fight for their freedom, and these suckers refused to fight. And John Brown died trying to help these nothing-ass folks, our ancestors, these cowards, these institutionalized slaves, just like you. He died trying to help them fight. He did not understand the institutionalized, domesticated mind. I'll be damned if I use my resources, use my life to help these nothings, these goats, these sheep. Matter of fact, they even call themselves sheep. They call themselves children. I refuse and I won't go all out of my way to help those who don't want to help themselves. There are people who don't want to fight. Only a few handful of us willing to really fight. The majority, like yourself, lazy cowards, you are comfortable with the liquor and the drugs and the YouTube and the Facebook and anything, all the things, the diamonds and whatever it is, the prostitution house, a cable. You are happy in your slavery. You are happy in this racist nation, this unjust nation. You're happy in it. I remember growing up in the Jim Crow South in the state of Mississippi when I was a little boy. Nobody, nobody would stand with me in my community. I was a little boy and I stood up by myself. No other children, no adults. I'm protesting by myself before the fictional Michael Evans of Good Times. I was by myself protesting against Jim Crow. Nobody would stand with me. 15 to 20 million during that period of time, only a handful will fight. Just like only a handful right now in 2024, only a few handful will actually go to the streets, will really actually take action against Oppression, only a few. There are animals. You can open up the gate. You can open up the fence. And they won't leave the cage. They won't leave that fence. They will, they will sit there and wait for you to close the gate. What you open that for? They're not interested in freedom. They're not interested in doing for self. Do it for self means you are independent. You're not doing for self when you still are depending upon the same damn people for the resources in order for you to do for yourself. That's not doing for self. You still got to get your corn from white folks. You still got to get your cars and your rubber and your electricity and your Facebook. How the hell are you doing for self? 
That's not doing for self. Doing for self is you are able to go out and get some resources so that you can produce your own car, your own house, your own get your own water in your own house. That's what doing for self is. Anything other than that is nothing but a uh, facade, a charade. It's not real. It's perpetrating a fraud. I'm doing for myself. You do it for yourself. And if the Caucasian people took all his resources away from you, you ain't got a damn thing. Let's keep it real. <laughs> Let's keep it real, my friend. Not only will we not stand up and fight for ourselves as a people, you won't even do it as an individual. Many of you, you've been on a job for years and you deserve that promotion and you won't fight for your promotion that you know you earn, that you deserve. You just sit back in the cut. Oh, well, maybe one day, maybe one day they'll they recognize. Yeah, they'll give you that permission, that a promotion when it's time for you to retire. And then you might enjoy it for a few months and they send your ass home uh, uh, to retirement. The landlord goes up on the rent. You won't do nothing. Oh, well, I guess I just got... You've been here for years and why are you doing that to me, sir? You won't fight for yourself. These men run around here talking about, that's my baby, that's my child, built, but will not Fight for custody. That's too much time. That's too much work. That's too much work. That's too much sacrifice. That goes to show you they're not really interested in that child. See, because you're not really interested in liberation. You're not really interested in your true freedom. You're not really interested. Institutionalized, domesticated slaves. So to help you with your problem of being institutionalized you turn to drugs you turn to liquor you turn to the church you come you turn to youtube let me find somebody that can make me feel good to escape my reality some of you even come here to the realities tip on earth when i tell you all the time i don't need cheerleaders we need people i need folks to join me so that we can go to work we have the vision. We have the plan right now. Let's do this. Let's put this message out here. It won't do nothing. So that's not my fault. That's not my fault because I'm dealing with institutionalized slaves, domesticated people. I have even offered folks to pay them Will you help me? I will even pay you. And they don't even want to. They refuse to pay. Because they're not interested in that kind of work. The work to free and liberate a people. Out of our condition. They're not even interested. I got in my car. And I drove 300 miles. And put flyers. In a person's hand. Who claim. Yeah man I'm, I'm with you. Yeah, I, that's that's a good that's a good thing. I drove three hundred miles to give them flyers, and they did not pass not one. I paid for somebody to come here with me, and they did nothing. Lay on that damn lazy ass. ass. I'm not. I'm just watching. I'm not. I don't. I didn't say anything. I'm just sitting back in the cut. I know what I'm dealing with. And this is the majority of the so-called African American. And even those that's hollering, black power, they ain't doing nothing. They lazy. You, they're not willing to really sacrifice and suffer and do what's necessary. And I know why you become frustrated because the stuff that you're doing don't work. You putting in all this work, so you ain't gonna work that hard because you see it's not going nowhere. But so you just sit back in the cut and pretend. Like you're doing something. Then you have those who outright won't do nothing to save their own damn life. I I love my children. You're a damn lie. The responsibility for adults is to make a better way for their children. You sit on your ass watching TV and YouTube and Facebook and, 
Instagram, whatever the hell that you off into. You get drunk. Find somebody that's screwed. That's all y'all know how to do. Lay around, get drunk, smoke weed, and screw, make more babies to bring into the, onto the slave plantation. And pretend like you want something different. All these cheerleaders. I don't need nobody to come here and cheerlead. I don't need nobody to come to my platform and talk. I don't need you to come here and run your mouth and talk. And you and what you're talking about? You're not talking about what you need to do in order to push this program. What you have done? They just want to talk about some crap. Let me comment on uh, Diddy. Let me comment on some some what happened to me when I was 16. Oh, who gives a damn? What happened to you when you were 16 years old? We have a program. We have a vision. We have a goal. Damn it! I know it. It works. I know it will work because our ancestors was doing it. If it was not for racism in this country, they would have been successful. There would be no need for me to say or do anything. But we are in a position to do what they couldn't do. And I heard people say out of their own mouth the same thing and they sit on their ass and do nothing and make excuses. I can't do this. Why you can't do that? Just like our ancestors. We are the byproducts. We are the children of those who didn't fight. Who didn't struggle. Very few of us can come on YouTube and talk about and brag about our Black Panther family members. Our Nation of Islam family members. Our UNIA family members. Because us, we as a people, we didn't do nothing. It was just a few handful and we sit back with popcorn and a beer and watch Dr. King get his ass whooped and Malcolm get shot. And we just sit back. All of it is entertainment because we're dealing with institutionalized slaves. I'd be damned if I use my breath and sacrifice myself anymore for a bunch of useless, lazy ass cowards. Because that's what it is. That's who I know I'm dealing with. Arrogant cowards don't have a pot to piss in. Running their damn mouth. That's all you work is running your damn mouth. Can't produce nothing. Except spit. That's all you can. Looking for somebody to entertain your ass. And I understand that. I'm an entertainer. See, you put your money where your mouth is. I don't need no cheerleaders. I, Operation Exodus Mississippi is a, is a good idea. Where your damn money at? Where your time? What are you doing? Nothing. Except running your mouth. And I'd be damned if I did anything. I'd make sure y'all happy ass would not benefit. I do everything in my power to make sure that you wouldn't benefit nothing. Lazy ass, trifling ass folks. So smart, so intelligent. You got it going on. And you keep following these losers. And you got what? Nothing. So you don't like me because the other slaves, y'all want to feel good like you're doing something. You don't have a pot to piss in. Whatever you're doing, it ain't good enough. And whatever you're doing, it don't inspire the 40 million. Let's go to work. Let's get this over and done with. This cycle, this round and round, going nowhere crap has to come to an end. So you can laugh all you want to. Because the reality is, you call yourself laughing at me, you laughing at yourself. Because you're an institutionalized slave. And I'm going to call it for what it is.